All right, what is going on guys? It is Joey or Lemon here and welcome back to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this really, really cool esports banner. It's like super simple. You can do it in 10 easy steps. And yeah, so let's hop right into it. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna wanna make your document 3000 by 1000. That's what I do just cause it's a little bit bigger than the estimated size. So your picture is just gonna come out clear next thing you're gonna want to do is hop on to Google and you want to get your three images so I'm gonna go get my three images and then I'm gonna come right back all right so we are back I have my three pictures here I'm gonna be using the Philadelphia fusion for this I know in the uh, thumbnail I used this which uh, I changed the logo to red just because it looked better for the tutorial I think red looks a lot cleaner than the orange color that I had but uh, yes yeah, so we're gonna do orange now so basically what you want to do is you want to align your pictures uh just how you want them to be in the back so let's see i have mine a little bit closer in and then once you have them all situated you're just gonna want to take your what is this, the polygonal yeah polygonal lasso tool and you're gonna want to just make a cut and cut that end out and do it for the next picture i'm actually gonna move this one over and move this one over there we go so now we have a really clean i'm actually gonna move this over a little bit more just to see a little bit more even there we go and There we go, perfect. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go into image, adjustments, and black and white. You're gonna use just the default, just go into the presets, default settings, hit okay. Oh, sorry about that. We're gonna take these three layers and group them first. Now you're gonna want to go to layer, or sorry, control J and then control E, which is gonna basically just uh, duplicate the group and then merge it all in the one. So you can hide this group. I'm just title it uh, images, oh, that is, images and images, there we go. So go into this, same thing, image, adjustments, black and white, use the default. Now, right now it looks really, really uh, white and bright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh click this little half circle down here which is gonna open up all of these uh little tabs we're gonna go down to where is it exposure and the settings i have are gonna be different from what you guys have but mine is negative 3.89 and the gamma is 0.91 so just like that, it's already looking a lot cleaner than it was. You see, it just darkens the photo because this is going to be your background. So you don't want it to overtake the logo and the photo that's going to be up front. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is add this little swipe of color at the bottom, this little like gradient. Um, Let's see. So what I did, is if you go into images, it's going to be different for everyone, but go into the logo whatever logo you're losing uh using you want to take that main color so that's going to be your so whatever the logo say it's green use green uh but you want to make sure it's the same color as it is in the logo and all that just so everything matches really well so i'm going to images take the eyedropper tool grab that orange there we go all right, so you're just gonna want to go right above the exposure layer and make a new layer. Go into the brush tool, size this up. And if you guys wanna know how I do this without uh, going up here, if you just hold Alt and right click, going side to side, it's gonna make it bigger or smaller and going up and down, it's gonna make it uh, the hardness uh, softer and uh, harder. So I'm gonna go up here and you really, there's just no perfect way to do this. You just kinda wanna Nice little sway. I'm actually fill it up a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> so now you're not going to change anything with this. You're just going to want to go into the opacity. 
Uh, I changed mine to 60 just because that's what looked right for me. Am I correct? Where is it? Yeah, 60%. Sounds good. Excuse me. So the next thing you're going to want to do is I'll leave all these in the description. But if you go into the divinity pack right here, you're going to go down. I'm going to grab some. Where is it? Flares. Here we go. I'll leave these in the description just so you guys don't have to go out and buy the divinity pack. I just got to find them. Let's hide these. There we go. So we're going to take these. And that is the wrong texture thing. It's all good. And drag them into there. There we go. So I'll already crop these out for you guys, but let me just take that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into hue and saturation, and you're going to want to make sure that. Uh, the color of the flare matches the col same color that you did for the swipe and the logo. So for me, that's going to be 35 on the hue. Oh, make sure you make it a clipping mask. Uh, 35 on the hue. And what we're going to basically do is just uh, go to the flare layer. Hit Control T or Command T if you're on Mac. Go over to the cuts where you made the uh, crops in between the pictures and you're just going to want to try to get it as close as you can to being on that line this is basically just gonna add a little it's gonna break up the pictures basically but I'm gonna actually size this up a little bit and move back down move it over and perfect just like that nice simple little dividing you're just gonna want to uh go down to the hue and saturation layer and hit merge down it's basically just gonna merge it into one uh control j to duplicate and just drag it right over now my cuts actually weren't perfect at the same angle you want to make sure you get as close as you can with the angle but for the sake of tutorial i'm not too worried about it um come on there we go just get it as close as we can. And move it over a little bit. And there we go, perfect. So it looks a little weird just because my cuts are weird. So just, again, make sure your cuts are uh, at the same angle. It's going to make it look a lot cleaner. And now, other than that, we're just going to go into the opacity. And I see 25, I think. Let's try 50. Yeah, I actually kind of like it at 100. Maybe drop it a little bit lower. Yeah, we'll do 80%. So drop the flares down to 80% on each. There we go. Again, this looks a little weird just because my angles are wrong, but whatever. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to add is these little textures, the sparks and... Uh, all of that so that's also in the divinity pack i'll also leave that in the description down below so we're just gonna go into the, the here i already had it on just so i can find it easy it's this one yep so we're just gonna drag this in drop it into here and then the same thing you did actually i don't have to but you might have to go in and change the hue and saturation again just to make sure it matches the logo um and basically what we're gonna do is just Take the eraser tool, make sure your hardness is on zero, and just feather these out. Because we just don't want any rough edges. You just want to take this, fill up that side, make it pretty big. And then duplicate it. Do the same thing, just drag it on over to the other side. If you hold shift, it'll actually keep it on the same uh, axis. So they're kind of like on the same level as each other. Um, t -t 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 -t. we are going to hit com uh, control or command G and then control or command J and then control or command E put these on screen hide that go up here and change the opacity to 60% and 
Now you can make this higher, lower. I might actually make this a little bit lower. There we go, perfect. So around 50, 60% is what you're gonna wanna be at. And now we're gonna wanna go and add this little particle texture. It's not really noticeable, but if I turn it off and on, Oh, it's because I have the top one. I was like, <laughs> there, there you go. See, see, it kind of adds a little bit of, a um, little bit more to the actual header. So if we go down to, where is it? I believe it's under. Uh, right here. There we go. So again, same thing with this one. I'm actually gonna have to change the human saturation again. So what you wanna do is when you drop this in, you're just gonna wanna scale it up. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edges, but make sure it's centered, like where this hole is. Uh, you wanna make sure that's center. Uh, make sure the blend mode is on screen, which mine already is. Drop the opacity to 60%. And then do the hue and saturation. Now we're just gonna oh, always make sure you have the clipping mask on for that. And I'm just gonna go over and so we find a color that matches. So I'm gonna say that just about matches. I feel like that's too much. I write down the wrong number. Okay, yeah, so it's actually 16%. I don't know why I wrote 60. I knew that looked a little weird. But same thing, uh, merge down, go to the human saturation, hit merge down and drop this down to like 15, 16%, just so it adds a little bit more. It's not too noticeable, but it's not overpowering. All right, and now next thing you wanna do is drop your actual logo in for the um, header or whatever esports team you're doing. Again, I'm doing Fusion. So you're just gonna do, uh, what I did to pull up this is Commander Control A, and then I'm just going to hit that. It's gonna center it all nice. No, you don't really have to do much with this, um, except I added a little drop shadow just to kind of separate it from the background. So if you want to do that, copy down these settings. Uh, it's on multiply, 45% uh, opacity, zero distance, zero spread, and 57 size. It just adds a little bit more so it's not like blending in too much with the background and all that. All right, so now you just want to add the text. So the text I'm actually using is called Apex MK underscore or Apex underscore MK3. So what you want to do is write down the top text and I'm gonna make this like a hundred. Yeah, that's good. So make the top text, you want to make it white. And wait, I'm gonna actually make this like a little offset white. I don't like always using perfect white. There we go. And then you just want to duplicate that. Drag it down. Like there. And type in the name. Second part of the name. If you just have one, you can always just use that. But for the if you do have two names like this, Philadelphia Fusion, you want to take that bottom and you just want to make it whatever the dominant color of the logo is. Whatever the swipe is. Whatever the, uh, yeah, whatever the theme you're going for. You want to make it that. And then, so what we're gonna do is uh, select both of them, put them in a group, Command or Control G, Command or Control J, and Command or Control E. And then you can hide that. Uh, same thing, Command or Control A, go to the Move tool. Oh, that's not what we wanna do. Go back, there we go. Just make it like that so it's centered uh, with the logo. <clears throat> Uh, and yeah, so that's basically it for the text. And now finally, if you guys don't have any sponsors, you could add the sponsors. Or if you don't have the sponsors, uh, try to put something over here. I guess you could put socials just to even out. Or you could put like Philadelphia on this side, Fusion on one side. Uh, or you could put it down the bottom. You just don't want to leave it like this because it looks uneven, I guess. Because you don't want to leave all this open space over here. But for me, I already had the sponsors. So I'm just going to do this. Drag them on to here and make sure that they are aligned. Make sure these two little, uh, like the arrows pop up. Cause that's gonna, um, that means that the spacing between 
the logo and the text are the same space away from the logo and the sponsors which is going to help even it out a lot more and same thing with this i added just the normal drop shadow uh multiply opacity on 69 and size on 57. so it's almost the same thing as the logo it's just a little bit darker but yeah other than that guys it's that's basically all you have to do and then oh yeah i forgot final thing you want to do is if you go go all the way to the very top make a new layer um make this really big go to the brush tool make it really big and choose white make sure you zoom out uh, it's probably still go a little bit bigger and just click once at the top there you go and so it's just gonna add like a little light source you can actually lower the opacity it's just supposed to add a little bit more uh realism i guess to the effect i'm gonna put mine at like 50 percent you don't have to do it at all if you like how it looks but i like to do it just because it adds a little bit more to the actual header and it makes it brings it all together a little bit more but yeah other than that guys that is literally it for the tutorial it's that easy and i think it looks really sick and really clean um so go crazy with this one use it for um any esports teams or clans or whatever you're doing you can also use this for personal if you just put your logo in there and then you could put like your name over here and your socials over here and then pictures in the back it doesn't really matter the uh possibilities are kind of endless just because of how simplistic this one is but yeah that's basically it guys i hope you enjoyed i've been limiter joey peace